Hey, what's up? I'm up here in the mountains, but I wanted to record a short video on the question of when to stop dating, when to settle and say, hey, this partner is right and I'm just going to move it to the next level. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Achir Rudolf. I'm a social confidence coach and for the last three years I've worked primarily with Indian men to build extreme social confidence and help them find the right partner for a long-term relationship. And most of my clients are still in that stage where they need to learn to initiate the interactions and relationships. But once they go through that process, they often get to the point where they actually have relationships. But then for someone like that, where they had to work quite hard to get that skill of initiating relationships, it often is quite hard to then shift back into that committed relationship stage where they're actually happy with one monogamous relationship. And so for those people, and for me at that stage in my life as well, the question often arises, how do I know whether the partner that I'm with right now is right and I can just stay in this relationship? And the main paradigm shift that happened for me to make this question very clearly answerable is instead of looking at the other person, instead of looking at whether they are right or wrong, I started looking more at myself and asked myself, am I ready or not? Because the truth of the matter is that in the relationships that I had, most of them, I could have made them work. But usually I was just not ready to take it to that very serious next level. I knew deep inside and I felt it that I still had more to overcome and more to resolve before I was ready to bind myself to another person and say, hey, let's stick it out. Let's go till the end. For me specifically, it was very important to overcome all my social fears. And when I first started successfully initiating relationships, I still had a lot of those social fears. The first relationships that I had, they sprung out of drunken nightly adventures where I felt like I wasn't really doing the initiating of the interaction. It was kind of more of an unconscious haze. I knew at that point when I was in that first committed relationship that I had not yet overcome my social fears. I was good at socializing, but only with the help of alcohol. And so I knew that I still had work to do on myself. And in that relationship, I felt like I wasn't able to do that. So in that way, you will often have these challenges that still need to be completed for yourself. And you'll feel that deep down. And that is a good signal to say, I'm not yet ready for that committed long-term relationship. But then as I continued this journey and I started getting extremely good at talking to strangers, socializing and overcoming my social fears. Well, at that point, I started entering relationships and I realized that it would be a harder challenge for me now to stay in the relationship than to exit and go through that process of becoming more socially confident again. Because staying in a relationship is also an extremely challenging project. All of you who have been in a relationship know this because after some time, this initial high and being in love kind of fades and you have to find other ways to nurture your love. And I realized at this period that I was often exiting relationships just because I was afraid of that work. And when I realized that, I knew that now I was ready to stay in a relationship because that was the more challenging thing to do. And I knew that I would grow more from doing that than from going out again and overcoming some social anxiety that I'd already pretty much dealt with. So this is a new perspective on how to think about when to start a relationship. It's not so much about when you find the right partner. Most partners will be compatible enough for you to make it work. It's more about are you ready and are you also willing to face that challenge of making a relationship work? Because that is going to take you through a whole different journey and you need to feel like that's going to help you grow. And you want to feel like that kind of growth is what you want now. A lot of people will judge you for going out and meeting new people and entering lots of different relationships. But I think it's necessary for some people because they have to overcome those initial challenges of starting interactions and relationships. But once you mature and you get good at that, you do want to move on to the next level and start learning the skill of making a long-term relationship work. And that can be just as much fun as going out and meeting a lot of people. 
and it can be definitely just as much learning and just as much personal development as well. So that's it with my little sermon here from the Mount. If you need help with navigating those initial or later stages of interpersonal relationships, there's a link in the description where you can find out more about how I help people do that. For now, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel. Samgachadvam. Namaskar.